In this problem, we're told the 68.5 kilogram astronaut is doing a repair in space on the orbiting space station. She throws a 2.25 kilogram tool away from her at 3.2 meters per second relative to the space station. What will be the change in her speed as a result of this throw? So before we do this, let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So I'm going to draw two different images. This is going to be before, and then we're going to have one for after, right? So because there's going to be two different states of this problem. So let's assume this right here is our astronaut. Right, and so we know the astronaut's gonna have a mass of 68.5 kg, and their velocity is gonna be zero, because we assuming in the beginning they're just not moving at all, so their V is gonna be zero. And then they have this tool in this hand, let's say this is the tool, and then the tool's also gonna be a place because they haven't thrown it yet. So the mass of the tool is 2.25 kilograms, and its velocity is zero. And then after, right, so after, this is when they've thrown it. So let's say, right when they throw it, it's gonna be thrown, so this is our tool, and we know it's going to move at 3.2 meters per second, right? And so since they throw it this way, it's going to cause them to recoil backwards. So they're going to move at some velocity, uh, and we don't know that yet. That's what essentially what they're uh, asking us to find, right? So what will be the change in her velocity as a result of this throw? So we don't know her velocity yet, so that's what we're trying to solve for. So how do we do this? So the way we're going to use it is by using um, the conservation of momentum, right? And so there's a law, right? The law of conservation of momentum tells us basically this. M1, V1 plus m2 v2 is equal to m1 v1 final plus m2 v2 final because the momentum in the beginning has to be equal to the momentum at the end right that's something we we know right so this is going to allow us to solve so think about uh well first what we want to do is label this so i'm going to say the ones so m1 and v1 are going to be the astronaut right and two is going to be the tool okay so just keep that in mind so when i say m1 i'm meaning the mass of our astronaut okay so let's we can um find each of these things right so we're trying to solve for v1f right the velocity of our astronaut after so how do we do it so let's just plug in the values and then uh you'll see so the mass one m1 is our um astronaut right so 68.5 multiplied by their velocity in the beginning what is their velocity well it's going to be zero right they're not moving plus m2 which is 2.25 multiplied by v2 which is the velocity of the tool which is zero too so realistically this whole side is zero equals m1 and we know M1 is just the mass of our astronaut, 68.5, times V1 final, which we don't know. That's what we're solving for. Plus M2. So M2 is going to be the mass of our tool, which is 2.25. And then we multiply by the velocity, final velocity of our object, which is 3.2. Right? So now what we can do is just go ahead and solve for V1 final, right? We move this to the other side. So minus 2.25 multiplied by 3.2 is equal to 68.5 v1 final what you can do is just divide by 68.5 right and this right here is going to give you v1 final so if you go ahead and do this minus uh, 2.25 divide by 3.2 or or multiply by 3.2 divide by 68.5 you're going to get v1 final or essentially the velocity the final velocity of our astronaut is going to be uh minus 0 0.105 Right, so this right here is going to be their velocity, and the negative sign specifies the direction. So this was moving this way, so negative means they're going to travel this in the opposite direction. So 0 0.105, and the units are uh, going to be meters per second. So 0 0.105 meters per second uh, opposite uh, to the tool, right? Right, so they're going to start at zero, and they're going to go to this. This is going to be their change in the speed, right? They change this much, and then this is also just going to be their speed since they started at zero. So uh, 0 0.105 uh, meters per second opposite to the tool, right? So this right here is going to be uh, the velocity of the astronaut. And yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.